G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today we're doing an autumn split. The reason we're doing a split in autumn is because we're wanting to get this hive down to one box over winter. And the reason we do that in this area is because our temperatures range from probably zero degrees to 15 degrees during winter, which are ideal conditions for condensation. If the bees aren't covering the frames, they tend to get condensation on them and get mouldy. So if we reduce the hive down to one box, then the bees fill that box and we don't tend to lose frames because of condensational mould. This hive is four boxes high. And so we need to reduce that down to the one box. And because we've had quite a wet summer, the brood nest has been enlarged. The brood is actually up into this third box because I didn't add in queen excluder. So we'll raise a new queen, make up a split, and move more bees from this hive into the split. This frame is ideal because we have emerging brood on it. You see those ones coming out there now. Here's another good frame because it's mainly capped brood and it has quite a lot of pollen on it as well and of course honey and so we'll replace the uh, the frames we're taking out with empty frames for the moment This frame's not too bad, but it does have quite a bit of open brood, but they're, they're older brood and they will be capped in the next couple of days, so well, I'll put this one in as well. This frame here has a lot of open brood, very young brood, they've just only uh, hatched or a couple of days old so this is not a good frame to put into the split. This frame here has a lot of pollen on it, so I'll put that one in there as well. So now I just want to fill up the box uh, with remaining frames and we'll put this one in because they're still drawing it out. Gives them a bit of room to, to grow if needed. get some frames that have brood on them and we shake those uh, bees into the, the box because uh, there's always going to be plenty of, of young bees in this hive so if we shake off a couple frames into our, our nucleus hive then we have the resources to, to be able to feed and um, produce a, a nice queen. I'm not seeing enough bees in this uh, box at the moment, 
So we'll go down and into this lower brood box and get some more uh, young nurse bees. Now we need to check for the queen. Make sure we're not shaking the queen. This in fact may be a better frame to put in there. So I'll swap one out and put it back. So there's an example of notching. This frame here has a lot of open brood on it as well, so we'll shake the bees from this into it. Just make sure that you haven't got the queen on this frame. And remember that the, uh, the foraging bees will go back to the original hive as well. It's right, looking much better with the amount of bees that are in there. So we'll close it up because we're starting to see a bit of rubbing. Of course, we need to protect our nucleus hive. Close up the entrances so there's only finger sort of space at the entrance. hive is set up, we need to come back in three days. This is to remove any queen cells that are already capped. Those queen cells are being started when they're too old, and so their ovaries won't yeah. develop properly. So we'll do that, and um, we should get a quality queen. And we'll check back on that next time. Have fun beekeeping.